British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has given an ultimatum to his party's lawmakers to vote in favor of his Brexit plan. Now, he has hinted at snap elections if the lawmakers fail to support him. Now, Johnson wants the UK to leave the European Union on the 31st of October with or without a deal. In a televised speech outside 10 Downing Street, Johnson may have claimed that he did not want an election, but he also threatened that under no circumstances will he allow a delay in Brexit and that if his hands were tied, he would be forced to call an election. We're leaving on the 31st of October, no ifs or buts. We will not accept any attempt to go back on our promises or scrub that referendum. And armed and fortified with that conviction, I believe we will get a deal at that crucial summit in October, a deal that Parliament will certainly be able to scrutinise. And in the meantime, let's let our negotiators get on with their work without that sword of Damocles over their necks and without an election. Without an election. I don't want an election. You don't want. His threats come after Conservative Party rebels joined forces with members of the opposition Labour Party. Now, the rebel lawmakers are set to introduce a bill in Parliament on Tuesday to stop a no-deal Brexit and delay Brexit by at least three months. A senior government official said that a motion to hold elections on the 14th of October would be put forward if lawmakers pass a legislation to block a no-deal. Now, Johnson threatened to purge the lawmakers that vote against the government on Brexit. He called for an emergency meeting in 10 Downing Street to discuss the measures to be taken if his plan does not get enough votes. Now Johnson is hoping to get a better withdrawal deal during the European summit, which is said to be held on the 17th of October. Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn said that he will continue to challenge the government on a no-deal Brexit. Earlier, Corbyn said that he wanted a general election so that his party could stop Brexit from happening without a deal. Boris Johnson was doing was essentially threatening people. Threatening people with a no-deal Brexit if he doesn't get his way in Parliament. Our purpose is to challenge this government on a no-deal Brexit. Our purpose is to try to protect jobs and living standards, try to ensure that this country doesn't run headlong into the arms of Donald Trump and a trade deal with the United States. As the threat of a snap election looms over the UK, the British pound slid below $1.2 billion on Tuesday for the first time since the start of 2017. Meanwhile, protesters gathered outside 10 Downing Street as Johnson met his ministers. They carried placards which read, Stop Brexit and Johnson out. Now, protesters also marched in Manchester against the government's move to suspend Parliament in the final weeks leading up to Brexit. No people have become detached from the very... ...that this stereotype was broken a very long... ...the shutdown of an entitled Etonian who masquerades as a man of... ...such a powerful and strong voice here in Manchester. <laughs> On to our next story now, Brazil's president, Jair Bolsonaro, has said that he will be skipping a regional summit on the Amazon fires. Now, Bolsonaro will be skipping the summit over health issues. The 64-year-old president is due to undergo surgery and requires rest prior to the procedure. Now, this after the fires in the Amazon have gained global attention. The far-right president has been widely criticized over his support for Amazon deforestation and a delayed reaction to the wildfires that have hit the rainforest. Now, Bolsonaro has, however, said that he will be attending the United Nations General Assembly to speak about the fires. Bolsonaro has said that he will make it to the United Nations General Assembly meet, quote, unquote, even in a wheelchair or on a stretcher. He also continued to be defiant about accepting aid from other countries, saying that Brazil will not accept any uh, aid from any country in the world under the pretext of preserving the Amazon. On the other hand, Brazil's environment minister, Ricardo Salles, 
has taken a more conciliatory tone. Salo said that Brasilia has held talks with Norway and Germany over the Amazon wildfires. This after two European states halted aid due to environmental concerns. Norway and Germany have traditionally supported projects in Brazil to curb deforestation. However, Bolsonaro's government recently blocked operations of a fund receiving the aid. Germany and Norway have since suspended aid to Brazil. Meanwhile, as politicians in Brazil continue to debate, thousands of fires continue to ravage the Amazon. Tens of thousands of forest fires have been recorded in the Amazon during this year's dry season. And these are the most number of fires that the Amazon has seen in the last decade.